Hello and welcome to ZooTube 325, the respiration integument of a turtle. Today we have a very special guest named Bert the Turtle. He's going to tell us all about the integument and respiration of a turtle. My turtle shell is made up of tissues called scutes. They're similar to scales, but they're formed in the dermis instead of the epidermis. My turtle shell is made of two portions. The ventral portion is called the plastron, and my dorsal portion is called the carapace. This is my friend Skeletor. Obviously he's dead, but he's helping us today with turtle anatomy for the skeletal portion. Turtles have a plastron, which is usually made up of four pairs of bony plates covered in keratin scutes. With Skeletor here, his we removed his plastron and placed it on the back for viewing purposes. Now his dorsal portion is called the carapace, which is made of bony plates which develops to form from platelets in the dermis called osteoderms. These become fused to the turtle's ribcage and to the fused spinal column, therefore their shell is fused with their skeleton. Skeletor is alive, so his scutes are, are not absent now. But obviously on me, as you've seen, scutes are made of living tissue, nerve endings, and alpha beta keratin. Thus the turtle can tell if something is touching its shell. I have chromatophores in my skin called xanthophores and cyanophores. Cyanophores create blue pigment and xanthophores produce yellow pigment. With the combination of these two pigments, it creates a green skin color in me. Since my shell prevents my thoracic cavity volume from expanding, I must use a special set of muscles in my body to expand and contract the size of my thoracic cavity by moving some internal organs around. I use the transversus abdominis, obliquus abdominis, pectoralis, and the girdle protractor, aka serratus, in order to pump air in and out of my lungs. However, I have to rapidly push out air out of my lungs in order to make room for my head and limbs when they contract into my shell as a defensive mechanism. I use a method of breathing called guller pumping in which the throat is expanded to draw in air. Then the air is pushed into my lungs due to a movable hyoid bone in turtles. I am able to do this. Some turtles use a use the lining of the throat and the cloaca for gas exchange from air or water. Thanks for your help uh, on Turtle Anatomy. Well that's it for us. Thanks for watching and tune in to our other videos on ZooTube 325.